Hello everyone, this is Game Mom 77 and I'm back. And today I'd like to show you guys another affordable way to spruce up your arcade one-up cabinet. That video is showing you guys how I installed my light-up marquees as well as my light-up kick plates. I even showed you guys my Tulsa arcade risers with my own twists. And if you have not seen those videos, please check them out. Now today I'm going to show you guys another affordable mod to help you spruce up your control panel. Now what I have done to spruce up my arcade one up is added some translucent bat tops to my joysticks. I was recently contacted by one of my YouTube subscribers asking if I can do a review on his translucent bat tops for your joysticks. He sent me some for my NBA Jam, as well as my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. He also sent me some solid color ones for my Street Fighter. And these are the bat tops that I received for the Street Fighter. They're black. They also carry other solid colors if you don't like the translucent. He also sent me some restrictor gates for the NBA Jam and the Mortal Kombat. The NBA Jam he sent with six pound tension springs and for the Mortal Kombat, four pound tension spring. Now, all of the items that I received were packaged well, like you see the restrictor gates. They all came labeled. And now I'm gonna open these up so you guys can see what it looks like. These are the circle restricted gates that he sent for the NBA Jam. And these are the six pound springs. And now I'm going to open up the gates and springs for the Mortal Kombat. And these are the four pound springs for the Mortal Kombat. Just wanted to show you guys a quick comparison. Now this right here is the original arcade one-up tension spring that came out of the Mortal Kombat. And this is the four pound spring that I'm going to replace it with. And this is the RK 1UP Original NBA Jam Tension Spring. And this is the 6 pound tension spring that I'm going to replace it with. Okay you guys, now I have changed out the RK 1UP Restrictor Gates and Tension Springs. I changed them to the 6 pound tension spring and the round restrictor gate. Now comparing the two tension springs, you can definitely feel a difference in the controls. With the round restrictor gate, this will almost guarantee better gameplay. Now I wanna show you guys what it sounds like with the regular arcade one up tension springs. Yeah, you can move it. You can definitely feel the difference. Now this is how the NBA Jam sounds, and this is with the six pound tension spring. You can feel the difference. Now also, 
you can tell with this six pound spring that your joystick will last longer. Now I can't believe I didn't think of this before, but I really like the way the translucent bat top looks against the glowing deck protector. I like how the translucent bat top glows with the glowing deck protector. And I'm gonna cycle through the lights so you guys can see. Now red looks cool, but of course I'm going to keep it on green because I like Frogger in green. So now I want to show you guys what I did with the original NBA Jam bat tops. What I did was to save money, I just recycled the bat tops. I placed the blue ones onto my Marvel superheroes. I think that matches nice. And I took the black bat tops off of the Marvel superheroes and placed it onto the final fight. And this is the Mortal Kombat where I switched out the stock four-way gate and the stock spring and I replaced it with the eight-way gate and a four-pound tension spring. For Mortal Kombat, you can also tell that these joysticks will last a longer time with the four-pound tension spring. I like the look of the translucent bat tops. It spruces up the arcade one up nicely. I would recommend all three products. If you have a game in your arcade that receives a lot of gameplay, I would highly recommend upgrading to a four or six pound tension spring. It will make your joysticks last a lot longer. Now to purchase any of the translucent bat tops or solid color bat tops, as well as the restrictor gates and tension springs. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below to all of his products. I hope you guys have found this video to be informative on how you can do some affordable mods to your arcade one up. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. I always respond. Also want to say thank you guys for all of your wonderful comments and feedback. I really do appreciate it. If you like the video, please hit like and subscribe. As always, I want to say thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. This is Game Mom 77 and I'm out.